Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pruder channel doing paid reviews. This is for, this is for, uh, let's check what he's, oh, he, there we go, he doesn't want his real name used, fucking pussies. Hey Arch, greetings to you and thanks for the terrific channel. Please refer to me as JC. I stumbled uh, across your channel from the much more tame and somewhat boring urban channel. I enjoyed him for a while, but it was way too tame and there's not enough there's not enough manly fucker energy on that channel for me. I've sent you twenty dollars on PayPal because you don't do shit for free. Then I decided to send you another five because man cannot live on Google Ads alone. That said, I am 42 years old and spent this... Spent... Where's my glasses gone? My glasses... I'm, I'm, I'm 42 years old who spent his first eight years after university in the entertainment industry. When things got slow, I jumped into the corporate game, working my way to a senior level sales guy and doing pretty well overall. I have had... I have had luck recently with some of my creative projects and I'm now back in Hollywood and think it's time to have a nice piece or two on my wrist. Yes, sir! I have a budget of 10, 000, 10 grand American for which I would like to pick two pieces. A steel sports watch and something I could use for a bit, bit of a dressier situation. Wear a coat and tie or something similar may be required for me. I don't want to draw much attention since I am still considered a new guy around town and it is more my style to be some someone understated. My choices at, at this moment are drum roll fuckers. Rolex Explorer 2 with black dial as it just looks slick and has the GMT function as well as a steel bezel fixed which I like. I'm caught between the 40mm and the 42mm. I like the clean lines of the earlier 40mm model as the red hand uh, as the red hand keeps things tidy. It is also an earlier model that might be on the rise in price down the line, maybe. But I really like the big orange GMT hand on the 42 model. And while some, including you, like the 40 model and think 42 might be a bit large, my current watch, a shitter not worth talking about, is 45 and wears well. I think the 42mm GMT hand looks very cool and it also pays homage to the Steve McQueen. I do think, however, that it makes it a little bit more difficult to read the time at a glance. Um, as it has its oversized nature seems to be seems seems to kind of get in the way if that makes sense is the largest orange hand cool or a bit sloppy to you i i love the orange hand any chance to put orange in a watch i love it i love the milgauss of orange hand orange i'm a 70s child fuckers what are your thoughts and do you think one model over the other has potential or an edge as time passes with regard to future pieces I'm not buying as an investment per se, but like most of the guys, would be cool to enjoy the watch I like and watch it appreciate over time. After purchasing the Explorer 2, I should have around 4000 and change or so to purchase my second timepiece. A steel date just with silver dial and stick markers, 1603 era, or I would simply, I would purchase with bracelet, but could see throwing it on, for example, a suede strap to a wear for more casual events such as a lazy Sunday around town. I would wear it on a bracelet for more formal work, <clears throat> more formal requirements. Many would say the Submariner is the iconic Rolex model. To me, the date just holds that place. Any thoughts on models to look, etc.? Other tips? Lastly, I do not want... I'm sorry, lastly, I do want an Amiga man on the fucking moon and would consider it instead of the Datejust, but it would be another black dial piece and there is something stoogy about the Datejust that I just love and it better, and it better who plays as a dress watch when needed. To me, I am sure that a moon watch will come down the line and I already see it sometimes on a mesh bracelet. It looks super cool. 
My Grail sports watch is a Black Dial's Daytona steel bezel. When it comes time for a fuck off piece, maybe my 50th, a yellow gold president would work for me. Appreciate your thoughts on my choices and any advice or alternative watches I should consider. Keep up the good work, JC. JC, thank you so much. Thank you. And when you're a star, don't forget Archie. Don't forget Archie. Let's talk about this. This is a really interesting discussion. I gotta hand it to him. He's really hit, hit the points. And I gotta tell you, what is happening in the Secondhand world is it is changing. So when I give advice, I try and give advice that is correct at the time of publication. But things change. Things really, really change. So what is my advice to you? What is my advice indeed? The Rolex Explorer 2 40 mil. Now the interesting thing is, guys, is that the 40 mil? I got to tell you this: late model 42s. These are like 2000 year 2000 onwards, which had the solid end links. They had the better loom, the loom, the loom, the loom. How's that for a loom shot? Just charge it up on my light, and then look at this. That's the loom. <laughs> if I keep doing that, the bastard might explode. What do you reckon? That's the loom. Had the much better. Loom! Loom. Uh, I reckon these later models are just amazing. What's happening is, what I'm seeing is, in Australia, Explorer 2 42 mils, they're going for high sevens. This is Australian, I'm talking. What's that? Fives, US. Guess what? The 40 mils. Good 40 mils. The last of the 40 mils with the loom and the solid end links. They say the one with the holes case is a little bit more desired. There's a little bit of a changeover period. But I I, I got to tell you, I kind of like the no holes case aesthetically. As a changing straps and bracelets and shit like that, the holes case walks all over this one. But um, I got to tell you, I think these are fucking amazing. I think they're amazing. Now, I reckon myself, if I was in your position, okay... Okay, see for me, I'm a super, super celebrity. I can't get rid of this because it's tied to me. It's the Archie Luxury Polar Explorer 2. But if I was a newbie and I had about 7,000, you know, Australian, that's, we're talking seven to 8,000 Australian, we're talking, I reckon, fuck it, get the 42 mil. It is cool. I love the orange hand. I really, 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 really do love the orange hand. I think it's so cool. I don't care whether you get the polar one or the black one. Just get the Explorer 2. I love the fixed metal bezel. That is fucking amazing. Um, I think either way, you can't go wrong. Either way, you can't go wrong. If it was me, because I'm a celebrity, so everyone knows it's the 40 mil polar. That's what they say to me. I can't get the other one. But if I was you, where you're not the YouTube sensation that I am, I would say, fuck it, get the 42 mil because it's it's going for similar money. I'd rather get the improvement. It's got the, the better bracelet, slightly bigger, which 42 mil isn't massive. So I, I reckon <laughs> definitely go 42 mil. And then I tell you what I would do. So 42 mil would be so cool. I reckon that's a cool watch. What would I get as a second watch? Now you're saying vintage date just. I think, ah, oh, fuck. Vintage old Datejust, you know, they're kind of fucking boring, 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 boring. I reckon if you're a Hollywood man, why don't you fuck it, fuck it, go and get yourself, this is an absolute bargain diver, get yourself a pre-owned Breitling Super Ocean. Now whether you get Super Ocean Heritage 1 or the Heritage 2, I reckon they are fucking a bargain. They sink like dog shit. The used market, these just... <laughs> Interesting story. This one I'm showing on the screen here. The guy bought it, a Boxing Day, 26th of December. Sold it three days later back to uh, another dealer. He lost. He halved his fucking money. These are absolute... Uh, I reckon if you can get one of these cheap enough, 
get a Brightlink Super Ocean. Then you've got a you've got a, a GMT. Well, I'd probably go 42 mil. Fuck it, get the 42 and a a discount diver. It's an unwanted discount. I reckon that would be a perfect combo for Hollywood for all those red carpet matinees and the the bright thing because it's shiny and it's kind of like a formal dress watch it's kind of you know it's kind of you know it, it's something you could pull off it's like those sexy guys on the red carpet they have no tie open neck yeah sports jacket yeah 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 they're kind of it's kind of that sort of sporty cool i reckon you could pull it off get a fucking super ocean get a fucking super ocean if i had a super ocean heritage 2 and a fucking 42 mil explorer fuck me dead fuck 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 me dead hollywood won't wait hollywood won't wait you will become a star you'll become a fucking star that's for sure that's what i'd do man that is what i would do so um hey have fun on the casting couch you get those bitches in get those do me proud, my good hero, Harvey Weinstein. You do me proud. You, you fucking work on that, okay? You're going to have the time of your life. Get the Breakling and the Explorer. Man, that's all situations covered. And uh, tell me what you guys think. It's Archie Luxury. Put a comment below. What do you reckon? Is he going to hit it big? I can fucking see this guy going places. Get the watch. Act the part. You're going to fucking be a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Okay.